So here's an adults only pie. The reason it's adults only is because it has bourbon in it and because we don't bake the pie, the bourbon doesn't cook out. So it's always there. And it's not only in the pie, but it's in the garnish. So adults only on this one. This is a chocolate bourbon sabayon pie. And sabayon is the French equivalent of Italian zabayoni, which is a very light airy mousse. And that's what this is. It's a chocolate bourbon mousse pie. In my double boiler, which is a pan over simmering water, I have some really good bittersweet chocolate, very high chocolate content. I've got the, the um, bits here. You can buy the brick, whatever. To that, I'm going to add, it's 10 ounces, I'm going to add six tablespoons of water. And I'm just going to leave this over here. And this, this will go really fast. Just blend it up until it's completely melted and there's no lumps. It's almost completely melted. Just making sure that there's no big lumps in here, which there are not. So I'm going to take it off, just give it a good whisking around. Okay, we're going to set that aside for a moment. In another bowl, I'm going to put two egg yolks, one tablespoon of sugar. Big bowl with a little bit of stuff. We're also going to put this over the water. And we're just going to beat these two together until the sugar melts and the egg yolks become warm. That'll only take about a minute or two. And I'm not hearing that grittiness anymore. To remove that. I'm going to get rid of this water. Just didn't want to have any accidents. Okay. And there's that. Now I'm going to add, oh, I think I'll add the eggs to the chocolate. And then we have three tablespoons of bourbon. I'm just going to mix that. I think I'll use my whisk here. Just blend it up well. Okay, that's good. Nice and blended. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to put this away and get my mixer. Woo, that's hot. I'm going to put this away and get my mixer out and we're going to beat some cream. So just give me a minute. Now we're going to do the cream part of the pie or the cream addition. One and a half cups of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream into our mixer. And it really helps if your mixing bowl and your whip have been chilled in the refrigerator. It'll just whip up faster. And now we just want to whip it until it's nice and stiff. A little bit more. It's not quite whipped enough. Almost. Okay. Take that off. Go back to our chocolate. Now the cream's going to go into the chocolate. Get all that cream in there. And now just 
start folding until it's incorporated and you don't see any more white. Now what you'll need, once this is all done, you will need a pre-baked pie shell, nine inch pie shell. You can either make your own or you can buy one. Um, if you, I'm not making it on the show today because I have made the pie shell many times. If you need the recipe, it'll be on the website. So you can just go there and find it. It's an easy recipe, it's a good recipe, makes a very nice, flaky pie crust. Okay, there we go. And there's, whoops, there's my pie shell. And I'm going to just pour this in. And now this has to go into the refrigerator for at least an hour. You can do this a um, couple hours before time. So if you're going to serve it for dinner at night, you can do it in the early afternoon. It can stay in there for a couple of hours. Smells really good. I'll show you. We're gonna garnish this with some really good stuff later. There you go. Into the refrigerator for one or two hours and then I'll bring it up. I'll show you how to garnish it. Time to finish off our chocolate bourbon sabayon pie. We're going to make a bourbon whipped cream to go on top of it. So in our mixer bowl, I have one cup of heavy cream, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, about three quarters of a teaspoon of gelatin, unflavored gelatin. And the reason you're putting that in is it stabilizes the whipped cream because if you put the whipped cream on the pie, in about two or three hours, it was going to start going oozy. But this way, the whipped cream will hold up overnight and maybe even longer than that. And then the last thing, two tablespoons of bourbon. All of it just dumped in the bowl. And we're just going to whip it up until it's nice and thick and fluffy. Our whipped cream. Now I've got a bag with a uh, decorative tip. You don't have to do this if you don't have a tip and you don't care about what it looks like. Just spread it over the top of the pie. But I kind of like to play. I'm a terrible cake decorator, but I love doing garnishes on pies and cakes, but not not that heavy frosting and stuff. Oop, I just lost a lot of the bourbon cream on the table. Oh well. Try to work around that. Here's our pie. Take out our whipped cream. And I always put it in a thing like this because I, you can use two hands that way. <clears throat> and now, let me see. Oh. Again, it can be anything you want. It can be just stars, whatever, like a big squish in the middle. I got a little bit left over. That's for me for later. And then <clears throat> some chocolate curls. If you don't know how to make some chocolate curls, I plan on doing a show about garnishes at some point, and we will make some chocolate curls. These are very, very easy to make. I promise you, I'll show you an easy way to do it. 
There we go. My mouth is watering. Again, a couple of things to munch on. And there you go. There is our chocolate bourbon sabayon pie.